Hey guys! I haven't made a video since my last update, which I believe was 37 weeks. So, obviously a lot has happened. I wouldn't go this long without putting a video up. But um, I've just been so busy and I just couldn't wait to get a video. I just haven't had the time, I'm sorry. And I just wanted to do something a little um, cute, but um, I just decided to make a quick update video real fast. But Obviously, there will be no 38-week update because I had my baby girl at 38 weeks and 4 days. So she did come early. She came about 2 weeks. She came about like 10 days early because today is, what is it, the 27th or something? I don't know. It's like Saturday. Um, and on Monday would be the 29th. That was her original due date. So she did come about 10 days early. And she was delivered at 11.44 a.m. Of course, I'm going to have a whole labor and delivery story um, video posted. But um, this is just a quick video as to what's been going on and why I haven't been making any videos. So I, f I feel really bad that I wasn't able to make a 38-week update because I didn't get my measurements or anything. But I'm still going to do... Um, um, I'm still going to tell you about the symptoms that I had in my 38 week that we can help other women who are still pregnant <laughs> and can probably like compare notes or something so I'll let you know um, about my symptoms okay just real fast sorry about the messy background I, <laughs> I've just been trapped in this room pretty much um, taking care of the babies so okay so for my 38 week symptoms they were a little bit more um, stronger obviously since previous um previous symptoms so it might not be the same for everybody of course because every pregnancy is different okay for some reason i felt a burning like weird numbing sensation um on my left underside of my breast and it just felt like really weird like it, it wouldn't feel like like painful it would just felt like a burn but it would be nummy i don't know how really how to explain it. i didn't even know how to explain it to the doctor she said it was nothing really it sounded like nothing to really be concerned about so i don't know but that happened for a few days actually but um it was just a really weird symptom that i haven't felt before so also um i felt like when I would be trying to go to sleep, my hip would hurt. I think it would, so I would have to change positions quite frequently to get that pain to stop because it was just really weird. Like my hips were like caving in or something. It was really weird. Also, I experienced some left shoulder blade pain. So like underneath it and on um, my on the 38 weeks and fourth day at nine o'clock is when I experienced um, like pelvic pressure and also period like symptoms with pink discharge so come to find out I guess that was my body losing its mucus plug so of course I'll discuss that all in my <laughs> labor and delivery room but it's pretty interesting because at the beginning of the week I felt like pain in my back I guess and it would kind of it'd be weird but it would go away after I changed position so I didn't really think too much of it but then I felt that same pain when I was I guess when I was in labor so I guess I don't know maybe I started at the beginning of the week but I didn't really know what was going on because it would go away and then that night moving around it didn't go away <laughs> so um I, I'm of course going to go into more details in my labor and delivery story, so don't worry about that. That's just a quick update on my 38 weeks. Like I said, I didn't get any measurements or anything. No pictures. But yeah, my, my baby girl, she's sleeping up there. And um, so yeah, um, that's about it for this video. I'm going to upload it and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do an introduction video just showing you guys what she looks like and then during this whole entire week of her first week of life i did just record some little clips and bits throughout the week and so i'll, I'll put that all in like a little collab thing 
and then post that up and then I'll do my labor and delivery video so yeah I have a couple videos coming up and um, again sorry about not you know keeping you guys updated or anything I'm not really on Twitter or Facebook or anything like that so this is my only means of communication so yeah so I can't wait to share my story with you guys and I hope if anybody else is pregnant out there to just enjoy being pregnant and um, because once they're born they're born and they're never gonna be in your tummy again so cherish the moment because I felt like I was cheated out of two weeks of being pregnant and um, I didn't really get to fully enjoy it but she's here now and so everything's good but enjoy your pregnancy while you are still pregnant so I'll talk to you guys later bye